ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassion the merciful all praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad his family and his companions all until the day of resurrection Today I'm going to talk about a very emotional topic from this series glimpses from the fragment prophetic biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. It is about how the Prophet, peace be upon him, became sick and then he departed this life. Now, there were some events and some things that happened which led into, which were indicators that the Prophet, peace be upon him, almost ended his mission and is about to leave this world, alayhi salatu wasalam. First, it was the conquest and the conquest of Mecca. After he left Mecca, when uh, 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 with the conquerors and established everything, he went back to Medina uh, in the month of the Hijjah and he stayed there for Muharram and Safar and then he, it was revealed upon him after his return to Medina إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ when the victory of Allah has come to you in the conquest and the conquest of Mecca, then you saw all people coming into uh, big folds into the religion of Allah, then you should glorify and praise the praise of your Lord and ask him forgiveness for he is the oft forgiving uh, God subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this Ibn Abbas said this is this is to indicate that the Prophet والسلام, is really coming to end uh, uh, of his life والسلام, the surah showed that he actually knew it was almost time he will not live for long after the revelation of the surah and then also to give him more indication is that uh, the wahi or revelation continued uh, with him uh, uh, in that year more than before until he alayhi salatu wasalam died. And then Jibreel in the month of Ramadan that year actually uh, 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 reviewed the Quran with him twice. And then he والسلام, made i'tikaf or this seclusion in, uh, uh, in the masjid, in this masjid, his own masjid for 20 nights in the month of Ramadan before, his, uh, 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 before the end. Uh, then Allah gave him the, uh, uh, the choice either to stay in this dunya uh, and then come go to Jannah or to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, early and uh, as in the hadith of Muwayhiba and then he actually uh, uh, told his own companions about this uh, saying indirectly in the last sermon he gave to them and then no one understood exactly what he meant except Abu Bakr al-Siddiq may Allah be pleased with him now after he came back from Hajj. The Prophet والسلام, stayed the months of Muharram and Safar. The end of Safar and the beginning of the month of Rabi'ah, the first month, uh, first Rabi'ah, uh, Rabi'ah al-Awwal, uh, he started to get sick. And then this happened after he visited Al-Baqi'ah, 
that's a graveyard of uh, Muslims with his own uh, servant, Abi Muwayhiba. And then he greeted them and then he made dua for everyone who was buried there among Muslims and he asked forgiveness for them. And then his sickness, peace be upon him, uh, moved from in, in, in different stages. First, he started to have headache uh, in the house of Aisha. Then when he went to Maymuna radiallahu anhuma, he started to get even, even more sick. And then he asked the permission from all of his wives to uh, uh, stay and, and, and be uh, uh, like hospitalized in the house of Aisha. So he stayed in her house until he died alayhi salatu wasalam. In the beginning, he used to come out to the masjid and he used to pray uh, and, and, and lead the prayer uh, uh, and the companions would be behind him. But then he uh, made a khutbah, a big sermon, and he made some advices. And then when he uh, uh, was not able to uh, uh, lead the prayer, he asked Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu to lead the prayer. The reason for his sickness uh, actually uh, came because of uh, the remnants of the poison that he was given on a piece of meat. You know, he, he, like, he liked, alayhi salatu wasalam, the meat of the shoulder of, of uh, 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 goats and, and, and sheep. And uh, uh, a woman from uh, the Jews of Khaybar knew this, and she, uh, she gave him this with poison um, uh, in there. And then he actually, uh, uh, when, he, when he did that, uh, when she did that, he got the poison, and then uh, she admitted later on that she did it on purpose. And when they, when he, when she and her own people were uh, asked why, why did you do that? They said, well, if he was truthful, then we would be, uh, uh, you know, if he was, if he was, if he was a liar, then we get rid of him. If he is a prophet, then it will not hurt him. And uh, she said. Definitely, this woman said that she wanted to kill him, and uh, but Allah subhanahu wa taala would not uh, allow her to do that. So the poison did not kill the Prophet peace be upon him at that time, as it did to a person by the name of Bishr ibn al Bara uh, al Ansari. He was from al Ansar, and he ate at the same time with the Prophet. He died Im immediately after that meal, uh, but the Prophet peace be upon him. Uh, 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 did not die there and that was a sign that he was a prophet and uh, uh, but the uh, her own people did not uh, uh, benefit from this did not believe in him did not accept Islam although they saw the evidence that he was a prophet and the uh, the poison did not kill him but it stayed with him for some time and he said to Aisha radiallahu anha in this uh, 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 sickness he said, uh, oh Aisha, I still find the, uh, the pain of the food that I ate uh, uh, at Khaybar and uh, this is the, uh, the time for the cutting of my uh, orta uh, from because, of that, because of that poison. So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, wanted to gather for him both uh, prophethood and being a martyr uh, uh, because Allah wanted him to raise him higher and higher. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu used to swear by Allah that the Prophet, peace be upon him, died as shaheed, as a martyr, because of, uh, of the effect of that poison. Now, he, alayhi salatu uh, uh, of course, when, being, when, when he got sick, all of the Muslims got so affected and Al-Ansar uh, were very, very affected uh, uh, and, and strongly, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, their emotions went so high and then they started to cry. Al-Abbas stopped by and, and he saw them crying and he said, 
what is making you cry? They said, well, we remembered the uh, sitting with the Prophet, peace be upon him. We used to see him, we used to sit with him, but not anymore. And then Al-Abbas went inside and he uh, talked to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he said, this is what happened with Al-Ansar. He said, bring me some uh, uh, water, these uh, skin uh, bags of water called Qirab uh, uh, from s s different, uh, seven different wells in Medina until I would get back to people. So he, he actually, uh, uh, they brought him this and he felt a bit uh, 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 better. And he, he uh, actually, this was before he died, five days, and then he uh, went out to people when his head is tied because of the uh, headache and because of the effect of the sickness. And he uh, 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 went to the pulpit here to, to my left. And this was the last time he uh, actually sat with them. He praised Allah, he thanked him, he asked forgiveness for the martyrs from, uh, uh, of Uhud. He uh, made dua for them and he said, O oh people, come, come closer to me uh, and, and gather around me. And he said, I advise you to be kind to Al-Ansar. Uh, uh, they are my own private family and they, I can keep the, my secrets with them. So please be kind and generous to those who are kind and generous among them and forgive all those who may commit mistakes except when they uh, you know, commit something uh, that deserves penalty in, in Islam, the, uh, according to the penal system. And he said, uh, a slave of Allah was, uh, was given the choice either to be given from this uh, uh, beauty and, 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 and enjoyment of life, whatever he wanted, or to choose uh, what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he chose what, what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Sahaba did not know this, but Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu knew exactly and he started to cry. He knew that it was time for the Prophet, peace be upon him, to depart. And then he, uh, he praised Abu Bakr and he said, Abu Bakr, do not cry because uh, there is no, uh, uh, no nothing uh, that is in my uh, companionship with you uh, be dear to me or have a debt on me uh, than your own companionship and your own wealth, Abu Bakr. And if I would take a very close friend, um, uh, Khalil, I would have taken Abu Bakr as my own Khalil. But it is the brotherhood of Islam. It is the um, uh, uh, love of Islam. And uh, uh, every door should be closed uh, to the masjid except the door of Abu Bakr. And he said, I'm going to be ahead of you on the hawd or the basin where I will let you drink from my own uh, basin on the day of judgment. And uh, uh, hawd is, is so huge uh, that it is from Ayla uh, to Jahfa, which are two far away places uh, in the Arabian Peninsula. And he said, uh, I do not uh, fear anything for you except shirk. Uh, I, uh, uh, I do not uh, fear shirk for you, but I fear that you uh, fall into the love of dunya and then you compete in it and then you fight over it and then you will be uh, uh, destroyed just like the ones before you. So that was, and he, he uh, gave them some advices which will be covering inshallah in the near future. But this showed the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to the end and everyone was feeling very affected by the departure of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He died on Monday uh, as he was born on Monday and as he was sent on Monday and the Quran he received was on the Monday. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. Our beloved Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, who's here in his grave, and he is responding to everyone, making salah and salam upon him. So we always send salam and salah upon him, alayhi salatu wasalam, until I, I meet you again with other 
uh, incidents from the seerah of the, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in this series, glimpses from the uh, pregnant prophetic biography. I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليماً